Hello everyone, welcome back to our coding Native for tutorials. As part of our user management module, in today's session, I am going to discuss about forgot password functionality. We have already created login form. In this login form, if you know your credentials, definitely we can log into our application. Now I am going to enter some wrong credentials and I am submitting this. Definitely, sorry, wrong password entered for that email. If you can forget your password, there is an option called forget password. Now the registered user can can click this forget password button let us see i am going to click on it but nothing uh, there is no action provided for this button first of all let me provide a link for this i am just going to my login view this is login model login controller and login view and here is the forget password let me provide the link for this yeah so once the user click on this we are calling a function forget password function that is available in the login if you want you can create a separate controller but i want to implement all the login related stuff into one controller this is forget password functionality now what i have to do here now you have to go to your login controller and you have to define a function called forget password functionality let us define a forget password function yes now so now if you can uh, just go and refresh the page and click on it definitely the function is loaded guys but we didn't load any view inside of it let us go and load the view guys here i am taking the low i am taking a view this is forget password view already just i created but nothing was inside of it right now so to this we have to pass some data initially always it's a good practice to take some data variable empty data right done once this is done now we have to create the forget password view can you go and refresh it nothing was there right let us go to my login form what is the login view i have created just i'm copying the same and i'm keeping into it guys just i want to edit the form as per my requirement now just refresh it forget password is loading but it is uh, the label and the password field and the social media buttons also they have to be removed and you can go and remove these buttons just i'm going to remove this yes Please remove this also social media buttons, right? So here forget password link is not required. Let me remove them quickly guys here. Yes guys, I updated the form. Let us check the preview here and just, just refresh the page. Now this is going to be forget password. Now the user is going to enter the email ID guys. Once the user enters the email, we have to verify that the email ID is available in the DB or not. If it is available, we can send a reset password link to that person. Otherwise, we are going to display a message sorry email does not exist or kind of error we are going to display here let us go to your controller and in the controller now i have to submit the form once after submitting the form now i have to collect the data right so we know how to submit the form right so request of get method equal to equal to post once the form is submitted i have to define the validation rules also guys let me define the validation rules quickly yeah this is the rule set guys i have here where email equal to I am defining some rules, the key of the input field, name of the input field, label for this email and uh, rules required and valid email ID and error messages for required and valid email ID guys. This is already we know somewhere we discussed about this uh, pseudo variable concept right. So whatever the label you have defined here that label will be placed inside of it guys field label right. Anyhow you are going to see it right. So once this is done now I have to validate these rules by using validate method let us write the method guys here we have validate method guys here so this validate method is going to validate these above rules if all rules are okay now it is submitted i mean it is success if anything wrong this validator message is going to send the error message to your front end now anyhow here in the forget password view we are getting list errors here to display the any validation errors are there in the form now you can enter something i'm entering some dummy mail this is not email but there is an error called valid email id required now you are going to enter a valid email id whatever the valid email id you are going to enter now if you can submit there is no error you have entered valid data now let us collect the data here in the controller after collecting data we have to verify this email id is available in the db or not guys for this we have already there is a method i think so where is the method guys if it is available the email id is available somewhere we are writing one function so let us check this guys i think so verify email this is the function just we are going to use this verify email function to verify that user exists or not if user exists it is going to send some data otherwise we are going to display a message sorry email id does not exist right let us get the email here first of all the email equal to this of request of 
in this we have a function called get where function to this get where function just we can pass the name of the input field yes we are passing name of the input field if you want you can write a filter here filter underscore sanitize email yes we can write this also right now we are able to get the email now i have to verify this email id is exists or not if it exists yes we can send a reset password link to him let us go and check this there is a method in our model that is this of login model in this login model we have a method called verify email can you see it is going to be loaded guys verify email method to this we are passing email id we don't want to write this method again and again already we defined the same method in the our login model and what it will do if this is done successfully it is going to return some data guys so first of all let me go to this method and what this method is returning for us it is returning the data if the user exists what is the data it is returning uni id status and username and password we don't want all this just i want to get the uni id because i have to send this to your uh, with with your reset password link right okay fine so this is going to give you the data of the email which exists in the db so let us do one thing it's better to take into a variable that data equal to yeah, i'm going to take it into a variable uh, better to take this as a user data yes if this is i mean if the email id exists it is going to return the data of you let us write a small condition if not empty of dollar user data if user data is not empty so i mean the user is exists if it is empty we are going to display a message by saying that sorry uh, wrong email id entered such a manner guys let us display this error message also yes i am going to display the error message here but it is going to be a uh, please enter i am just copied the message from the above guys so email id does not exist with our db such a message email does not exist simply i am writing a message does not exist right guys if mail id exists yes we can do something if not exists what we can do we can do anything right yes so now email id exists guys if this is exists i have to send a reset password i have to send a reset password link to your email id so what is the two address this is the two address to this i have to send an email so before that what i want to do let me update a status in the database guys what i want to do i will send a reset password link to you within 15 minutes if we can click that link i can process your reset password otherwise i will display a message this link was expired so let us see this also but for this i need to do one thing in my database guys go to database table and just i want to add one column extra but early we forget that but the situation demands us to do uh, a column extra let us add a column call updated it so of type date and time guys so i want to once i sent a link to you then i will update the time so based on the time i will process your request if the time within the 30 minutes if in the 15 minutes yes i will process your request otherwise i don't want to process yes column is ready now don't worry and just we are going to update the data guys once the user entered a valid email id so we are getting this yes this user data contained with this user data we are going to send a link to your registered email id let us see how we can send it guys first of all let me update the status in model i am going to create one function guys that function is nothing but updated it is a function and based on the uni id this user data contain uni id also right if this is written as true as i have to send the reset password link to you otherwise i just want to display a small message sorry unable to update try again let's write a message unable to update try again so what i need to do in the model so just i'm creating a method in the model guys in the login model we have to create a method here we have to update the data current data i just want to update right so just save the file and go to your model and define the function guys in this function we just want to define a function called updated it can you see this is the updated function 
in this function we are getting the uni id based on the uni id i am updating the time current time of my server i mean codignator is going to work on your server time zone nothing but uh, it was default set to america chicago i think so that time will be saved into the database guys this is going to be give the america chicago time anyhow the updated date is going to be updated into the database so once this is done it is going to return true and based on this value what i am going to do here if this is done yes updated successfully now we have to send a reset password link to the user guys let us take a two email id two equal to what is the two address dollar two this is going to be two address and uh, the subject what is the subject here reset password link reset password so the company is going to be something called go php or something reset password link just you can give the message subject like this now the message body is is, is very important guys to this message body i have to send the token nothing but token is in the token i will pass the uni id of the user let me prepare the message body guys here this is the message body guys just i prepared check this so to this message body i'm just sending the token also token equal to user data of uni id hi user dot of username i mean the username of the registered person and here we are send we are setting a link for this guys login in the login controller there is a method called reset password with a token as a parameter so what is the token token is nothing but your uni id so this message is going to be uh, this link here, whatever the link we are sending to your mail this link available only 15 minutes if you can click on the 15 minutes if you can click within the 15 minutes we are going to activate that otherwise we are not going to we are going to display a message sorry this link was expired right now if our two address subject message are ready now we have to configure email we already know how to configure email service now just use the email library to send the email guys let us define this email also Yes, guys. My mail body is ready now. Can you see? This is my mail configuration. I just written this. I loaded the mail service, and this is the two address. After that, info that is the set from. This is Go PHP. Subject is the same, and message. And we don't have any attachment here. I just copied this from our register dot PHP, and this is going to be a message. Can you see the message here? Success. Reset password link uh, sent to your registered email. please verify within 15 minutes this is the time duration i am setting there within 15 minutes if you can click that yes i will process your request otherwise i will dis just display a message sorry this link was expired right let us go there and done guys now i think this is going to send you a reset password link let us see how this is going to be work right i am just submitting this if you can entered some mail id i am entering which is not exist submit this definitely email does not exist very nice we are getting the error message now i have this email id already exists guys this is valid one now i am submitting this can you see if everything is okay we are going to get a message what is the message yes can you see reset password link sent to your registered email please verify within 15 minutes Yes, guys. Now I have to check the mail ID, right? So let us log into the mail ID and check it, guys. Let us go and check this mail. If this works, we can see an email here. Yes, I am able to see a mail, guys. Here, can you see the first one is going to be go PHP and reset password link. Let us click on it. Can you see there is a link, guys? If you can click this link, uh, what is happen? You are going to open to a separate window. Yes. this is exactly the reset password and moreover this link you have to click within 15 minutes anyhow i clicked it right but anyhow let me check the database also whether the date and time is updated or not at the end of it can you see this is the time at the, at what time i have got the reset password link the time was registered here so this time if you have to click within 15 minutes that's our condition here anyhow this is we are going to send a reset password link to your inbox right now the next thing here we have to implement reset password functionality we already seen how can we implement uh, the forget password done it is done now the on success forget password is sending a reset password link to the registered email if it, everything is valid now we have to implement the forget password functionality guys in next session we are going to implement the forget password functionality thank you all guys if you have any doubts please comment in the video section and please subscribe or go go php channel thank you all